Welcome to another edition of Wardy Screencasts. Today, we're dealing with summaries. So we've learned about central ideas, the fact that's a unifying element of the story, but now we're going to learn how do we take that, plus some of the key details, and create a cohesive, yet short summary of the article. It's a skill that you'll definitely need as you go on in life. Uh, if you summarize a TV show, a book, magazine article, whatever. So let's get to it. Summary. It's the short and concise concise version. It's always shorter than the original. If you're summarizing a three hour movie, I don't think anybody wants to hear you talk for three hours about that three hour movie. All right. Uh, two page article. Should be able to summarize it in about a paragraph. Quick, short, to the point. That's what we're after. Here's the key thing. Here's what you need to do a summary. You need the overall central idea. You're going to need the highlights. What are the main ideas, the central ideas, the key points the author wants you to remember? Story highlights, which we're also going to refer to as VIP. It stands for very important points. Again, what does the author want you to remember the most? Do not plagiarize. Do not just copy and paste. Put it in your own words. For example, if you go and look at CNN stories, they have, and this one I just pulled up on before the first presidential debate between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. They had some story highlights over here. These are the key things you would read about in the story. Uh, Sports Illustrated, they also do a quickly section, which actually is the central idea. So pulling these things out, editors do that so you can get an idea, hey, do I want to read about this or not? That's what you'll be doing with creating summaries. Let's just get back to it. So again, we have highlights, very important points. Don't plagiarize. The structure. How do I create the summary? So you're going to annotate, find the central ideas, find those three or four very important points. Right, make note of them. Three or four things you, the author wants you to remember the most. Then you're ready to write your, then you are prepared to create your summary. Start with the topic sentence, the title and the author, and the overall central idea. For example, in the article, Notable Moments in the GOP Debate, Reporters Thomas Fitzgerald and Maddie Hanna. Title, Authors. Now my central idea. Provide readers with the most entertaining and important moments of the Republican presidential debate held on Wednesday night. This is a past article. Title, Author, Central Idea. Bam, first sentence done. Quick, easy, to the point. Then you just want to put in your highlights, very important points. Put them in a sentence form, and you're out. And that's all there is to it. Uh, at this point, I want you to try and, and tackle your own. Pick any article. Go to Newzella. Worked with it the other day. Pick any article you want. Doesn't matter. Annotate it for the central ideas of sections. The very important points. Find those three to four very important points. The overall central idea. Create a summary. In Google Classroom, there's an assignment. Just write the summary up there. Submit it. And you're done. We'll check it over. We'll see how we did. And we'll go from there. If you have any questions, let me know. Wardy out.